you guys, welcome back to my channel, Foodish Beauty. I hope you have all had a wonderful week. If you're new to my channel, my name is TJ and I upload weekly videos on beauty, fashion, travel and food. And if these are the videos you love to watch, then please don't forget to click that subscribe button so we can be friends and it would absolutely make my day too. In today's video, we're going to talk about Ofra liquid lipsticks. Now, you might have seen and heard enough about Ofra liquid lipsticks if you watch a lot of beauty videos on YouTube. But in this video, I'm going to show you some of my favourite hand-picked shades from this brand, as well as introducing you to some of great dupes uh, for all of these shades. So if for whatever reason you couldn't get hold of these liquid lipsticks from Ofra, especially for those of us who are in the UK, then I hope you'll find this video helpful in a way that it'll help you find more accessible alternatives or maybe you'll just find some of these duplicates already in your collection which in turn will save you some money as well. And please do stick around to the end of this video if you want to hear my review on these liquid lipsticks. Now without further delay, let's jump straight in. The first shade I have here is Pasadena. This is a beautiful dusty pink with a peachy undertone. And I have two dupes here for you guys. One is from Too Faced Melted liquid longwear lipstick in the shade Chihuahua and then the second one I have here is from MAC and this is a matte shade, it's called Velvet Teddy. Swatched on the arm, Chihuahua is a little warmer, a slightly more peachier finish and the most similar one is definitely MAC's Velvet Teddy but obviously you do need to keep in mind Velvet Teddy is not a liquid lipstick therefore it's not half as long wearing. Second shade I have is Mocha, this is a universally pleasing brownie mauve and and the closest shade I've been able to find is from Laura Mercier and this is the Laura Mercier Paint Wash Liquid Lip Colour in the shade Rosewood. The two of these are almost identical with the only difference being the Laura Mercier one um, doesn't dry down completely matte so it has a much wetter texture therefore it's not as long lasting. Next up I have Americano. This is a very warm toned reddish brown with almost invisible micro shimmers to give it that three-dimensional sheen. This is such a unique shade I had a hard time matching it and the closest one I've been able to find is from Revlon and this is the Revlon Matte Balm in the shade 265 Fierce. Now this is a great matte finish and it is almost as long wearing but it is slightly redder. Another one that I had a really hard time finding dupes for is this shade called Manhattan. This is a beautiful muted fuchsia grape and the closest dupe I've been able to find is a random lipstick from Topshop. It's called Inhibition and this is a matte finish but with it being a lipstick, this is nowhere half near as pigmented, nor is it as long wearing. Onto a more nudey shade, I have here Staten Island, which is a very light and cool toned sandy greyish colour. And I have two dupes for this shade, which are not entirely the same, I'm afraid. The first one is from NYX and this is the NYX matte lipstick in the shade Butter. This is much warmer but it is along that greyish line. And the second one I have is from LA Splash and this is the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Romance. On first glance these two look very similar but Romance is slightly more lilac-y. Next up is Honolulu which is a burgundy plum with multi-tonal micro shimmer particles which gives it a beautiful metallic sheen. This is such a unique shade and the closest dupe I've been able to find is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is their liquid lipstick in the shade Trust Issues. Now these two shades on the basis, on the burgundy basis, they're very very similar but Trust Issues doesn't have that metallic sheen to it and that's the only difference. On to some deeper shades now. The first one I have here is Queen's. This is a deep berry toned purple and it has a flat matte finish. The dupe I've been able to find for this shade is from Sephora's Cream Lip Stain in the shade Blackberry Sorbet. Blackberry Sorbet is a slightly lighter shade though and it's not as purple as Queen's. There are also some very subtle micro shimmers within this shade so these two are not exact dupes but they are very similar. Sorry I've had to go ahead and turn the lights on, we've completely lost the sun there but onwards and upwards. The second darkest shade I have in my collection is this one, Brooklyn. This is a deep toned true brown shade and it is a standout brown lip colour against the rest because it doesn't have an overwhelming amount of red, purple or burgundy undertones to it. 
It's a true brown, which is why it's been dubbed the best dupe for Kylie Jenner's lip kit's True Brown K. I found two dupes for Brooklyn, and the first one is from MAC, and this is the matte lipstick in the shade Antique Velvet. The colour payoffs of the two are very similar, though Antique Velvet does lean slightly more on the burgundy side, but the difference is very minute. The second dupe is from Colourpop, and this is the liquid lipstick in the shade Limbo. Now, from the tube, these two actually look quite different. Limbo looks quite a bit lighter, but all Colourpop's liquid lipsticks dry down and oxidises, and therefore darkens one or two shades. So once Limbo dries down matte, the two actually looks quite similar, but Limbo does lean a bit more red. Last but not least, I have Harlem, which is a blackened, smoky, burgundy shade. It's very beautiful and very seductive. The closest dupe I've been able to find is from... MAC and it's a lip pencil in the shade Night Moth. These two, as far as colour is concerned, is very similar, but of course Night Moth being a lip pencil on application is not as opaque, but it's just as long wearing. So those were the swatches and dupes. I really do love Ofra liquid lipsticks. They are probably the most comfortable formula of liquid lipsticks out there, and trust me, I've tried almost every single brand. The moussey texture of these liquid lipsticks make sure they apply really smoothly, very opaque without being streaky. They also last a long time but you can easily remove them with an oil-based makeup remover. The dofa applicators on these liquid lipsticks are small but firm so you can easily achieve a sharp outline and also they have some very unique shades that are pretty difficult to find in other brands. They're not as transfer proof as some of the more drying liquid lipstick formulas out there like Colourpop liquid lipsticks, but as per usual, you'll be exchanging comfort for that. So all in all, I really do recommend these Ofra liquid lipsticks. I think they're totally worth the hype. So that concludes this video. I hope you really enjoyed it and also found the review and dupes helpful. If you have, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos on beauty, travel, food and fashion. Thank you ever so much for watching my friends. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye! Today I have another quick review for you guys of the recently launched MAC Contour and Sculpt Curl Palette. This is a ready-made cheek contouring and blush palette from MAC. 